and then uh, then when when I when I and President Marcos were already in the Central Bank vaults, Central Bank Governor Andres Castillo and the Central Marcos convinced me to sign the withdrawal of document concerning 35,000 metric tons. Ah, uh, no, 35,000 uh, tons. Uh, that time, I have no choice but to sign. Uh, Attorney Paras, Reverend Witness, after signing the withdrawal document, you mentioned what transpired next. Uh, at, uh, Father Diaz, right at the moment, Senator Marcos withdrew the gold bullion from the vault and loaded these four trial trucks escorted by the Philippine Army members led by unknown colonel and four members of the Philippine Constabulary and were driven towards the depart departure area of the Manila International Airport. Then, sir, then Cesar Paras. A reverent witness, when you were in the MIA departure, what follows next? Uh, and witness, Padre uh, Centoya, I witnessed the, the loading of the gold from the trailers, sir, which were packed in 70 pieces of wood crates, and they loaded this in the uh, belly of the KLM airline at that time. Next page. Uh, attorney Paras, Reverend Witness, you said you were there when the repacking of the gold had been done. How long did it take? Uh, the witness, because when I we arrived in the central bank, the time of 8 o'clock a.m. in the morning, when they finished packing the loading to the trailer, the time was 3 o'clock p.m. in the afternoon. So appreciably, sir, it took seven hours long when we finished. Attorney Paras, being the caretaker of the Acopiado family's gold bullion, how can you tell this honorable court how many and what is the exact number of kilos do Acopiado family had deposited in the vaults of Central Bank? Witness, exactly po, 600 617,500 metric tons that Copiado had deposited to the central bank vaults through me in the year 1949. Uh, we transported from the Vatican in 1948 the same length of additional government to meet the requirement gold reserve of the new organized and installed central bank then lately, when I went to the Central Bank along with the heir, Don Gregorio Madrigal Acopiado, in the person of Don Anacleto Madrigal Acopiado, uh, verification and inventory, we found that the only, only exact inventory remained intact in the vault when it was 400,000 metric tons. While what I withdrew that time beyond the knowledge of the owner, so beyond the owner's owner, the Acopiado, through the instruction of then President Ferdinand Ederlin Marcos, uh, Senate, sorry, then Senate President of the Republic was 3,000 metric tons, leaving supposedly inventory balance of 800. 82,000 metric tons, but, but this was inconsistent with our findings where the last inventory of balance was only 400,000 metric tons. Tons po yan lahat. Definitely, sir, they used fraudulently my signature to withdraw 
82,500 metric tons. Okay. Pumasok po ang OSG. O po, ang OSG po ay si, uh, attorney po yan ng Republic of the Philippines. Si attorney Gutierrez. Solicitor Gutierrez. Your Honor, I wish to call the attention of the Honorable Court to strike the words of the following, but this was inconsistent to our findings where the last inventory balance was only 4,000 metric tons. Definitely, sir, they used fraudulently my signature to withdraw the 82,000 metric tons. I'm used to for what for cost? He uh, said the Father Central Yes. The Solicitor General answered the answer of the witness was not responsive to the question profound by the counsel beside his statement. Okay. And then, uh, above withdrawal of 82,000 metrics is merely more than the hearsay because he was not there when the alleged withdrawal 82,000 metric tons uh, load in place. Attorney Cesar Para Sr. Objection, Your Honor. The witness has the right opinion which is valid based on his authority designed to him, designated to him by the client. Ang client niya po ay si Anacleto Matilal Ocpiado that he is the only person that has an authority to withdraw said bullion, gold bullion deposits. And the court says, the court po ito, sabi ng judge, all right, just maintain the record. Eventually, we will cross the bridge when needed. Okay, yung po yung page 85. Kaya po, ang, ang nangyari to, enough through such testimony that we can no longer deny the veracity of Reverend Father of Men. Uh, in, in as much as, as no opposition from the government except they signify their conformity to issue the decision with compromise agreement between the Republic of the Philippines represented by Excellency Ferdinand Marcos and his uh, uh, attorney, Solicitor General, by the uh, party in interest. Here's Don Gregorio Ocopiado and his son, Don Anacleto Madrigal Ocopiado, represented by their legal counsel, Cesar Paras Sr. So let's go back to another subject that the land registration could proceed in the action of the interim Therefore, the decree of registration after, if there has no issue to the party. So, yun po yung, yun po yung nangyari. So, ang problema po nito, uh, sinulat po ito ni Justice uh, Agana, the decision. Dun, kaya po nangyari yun, dahil ang plano po, ang recommendation po ng dating presidente, si Diyos Dado Makapakal, magkaroon po ng separate decision with compromise agreement. Ang problema po, sabi po ni Attorney Paras uh, Senior, bakit po natin gagawa ng separate pa? Eh, total, yung din lang procedure sa korte ang ikikwento. So, nilabas po sa korte yon sabi ng korte, let's ask the OSG. So yung OSG naman, nag-report po si President Marcos, kasi siya presidente noon, uh, umayag si President Marcos na wala nang separate decision with compromise agreement. Yun know, yung usapan. Kaya ho ito is not just a decision of the court, but an agreement between the Republic of the Philippines and the owner of the gold and Philippine Archipelago. Okay? Dun ho, yun ang pamiliwanag doon. Kasi po, ang OCT si Ronda Spur, kasi wala kayong naririnig na deed. Yun po yung deed ng, Repub ng uh, Philippine Archipelago. OCT si Ronda Spur. Kasi lahat po ng country merong deed. D-E-E-D. -E -E Ngayon, kaya po nagkagulo-gulo yan, 
inamin po ng OF ng Land Registration Commission through uh, Attorney uh, Bilog and Attorney uh, I forgot his name Chief. I, I, I forgot the name, but anyway, in court in civil case number civil case number nine nine seven, sinabi nila in court that we issued OCT one until up to OCT hundred thousand. Wow! Ibig sabihin, gumawa ho sila ng one hundred thousand deeds para sa Pilipinas. Hindi ho pepedi yun. So yun hong court ng nine nine seven. Assuming na patay na ho yung anak leto, eh mapupunta ho sa gobyerno. Eh kam nagkamali ho sila. Kaya po yung nalaman nila, buhay pa pala yung anak leto na nakatira sa Hawaii. Okay? So pinatawag nila agad through the Supreme Court, sino pina po nila? Si anak leto, madigal senior. Kaya ho senior kasi nagkaanak din siya, nagkay ng junior. So pumunta ho sila pabalik sa Maynila at nag-report sa Central Bank ay sa sorry sa Supreme Court. Okay, nung nakita ng Supreme Court si Justice Hesar uh, Bengson, buhay ka pala, ibabalik namin yung lupa na kinuha na inaward ng uh, ng tinatawag na uh, Court of First Instance sa Republic of the Philippines kasi buhay ka. So you know, yun ang tinatawag na uh, uh, Supreme Court order dated July uh, 11, 1964. Bago ho naging presidente si uh, President Ferdinand 